Hey everybody, welcome to The Recoup. I'm Cooper Daniels and I'm a guy that knows a little about a lot and today it's my weekly algo rant. Let's get into it. First off, how are you doing? What's going on everybody? It's been a while since I've done an algo rant. I'm here, I'm back, reporting from the, the jungle <laughs> apparently. I mean, these plants keep on growing. These are, yeah, there's more and more plants folks. They're all sort of dying too. Well, you know how it goes. Kind of like the price of algo. Let's get into it. So, folks, today, Monday, whatever day today is, the 5th, I don't know, but it's Monday, December something, early December, and algo is sitting at number 29 on coin market cap. It is sub 24 cents. Last I looked, it was 23 cents, nearly 24 cents, okay? Let's just not get into that with a 1.7 billion market cap. And on uh, DeFi Llama, TVL is at number 18, 127.3 million TVL. It's kind of bleeding, folks. It's down 40% in the last month. Compare that to Solana, which is down 71%. Maybe that makes us feel better. Or maybe not, because Solana has gone through, it's going through things, you know what I'm saying? But on the bright side, there's almost 30 million wallets on Algorand. There is over 1 million transactions happening per day and nearly 4 billion algo committed to Algorand's decentralized governance. All right, folks. And we got over 1,600 nodes. Folks, there's the bright side and then there's the fact that we're all down pretty big except for some people that are entering into the Algorand ecosystem right now they're getting a great deal we have to be happy for them <laughs> so happy for the people just buying into algo right now I last year in november we had an all-time high two dollars and 82 cents folks moving on hey guess what i just got back from dubai where the second annual decipher was held and man, did I have a blast. So I wanna give a quick shout out to the people that helped me get there. And that includes Lee Parsons from Opulus. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Opulus team. They helped me get there. And also the Algorand Foundation provided a ton of support as well. So I had a blast. I met a ton of people. I had a great time, folks. I mean, the event was insane. It was perfect. They really knocked it out of the park. There were a ton of people that were new to Algorand that were local in Dubai. The word was getting out, folks. So there was actual ROI on the event. Maybe some of you were watching from home like, where the hell did they get all the money to pay for this? And to that, I say, I get it. <laughs> and I want to say one thing before I start talking about um, some of the announcements that happened at Decipher. I do want to acknowledge a reality here okay something like I don't know nearly two years ago I entered into the Algorand ecosystem okay I I made my first purchase of algo almost two years ago and what was going on at that point well frankly for me it was just speculation at that point I was looking for a blockchain that actually made sense to me you know, I, I was already in Bitcoin. I, I, I liked Digibyte, one of the uh, forks of Bitcoin because it was faster and all of the things, right, that I thought were wrong with Bitcoin. But then I was like, well, there's gotta be an alternative to Ethereum because the gas fees are stupid and there's gotta be something better than that, right? They've, they've evolved past that. And I stumbled upon Algorand, which is, which even back then, was you know it was fantastic but there was nothing going on there was no DeFi, there was no nfts there was nothing i mean there's probably some nfts that i didn't know about but i i had never even bought an nft until i got to algran okay but i did see you know i was i was obviously impressed by silvio mccauley and his vision for algorand you know i just thought that huge mass adoption integration was going to happen on algorand because of the um, the credibility of Silvio and the credibility of the dev team. And it just, it seemed like the best tech, right? And that's why a lot of us came in because I think a lot of us are pragmatic and we're like, well, this is the best tech. And this is where I believe it's gonna go. Now, a lot of people are gonna be like, well, the best tech can lose, right? Everybody likes to give the beta VHS example. And that's true, that's true. 
but that's not the argument I'm making right now. The point is, is that it was institutional government adoption that I saw for the future of Algorand. And then all of a sudden there was a booming NFT scene and the DeFi um, scene started to get built out. And now we have made so much progress on NFTs and DeFi. I've been giving so little mental energy towards those real world use cases that excited me from the beginning, right? Cause I got so into it. I, now I love, you know, now there's long boys all over, uh, you know, they're, they're taking the, the goots and the, and the mingos and they're turning them into little mashups with the sappy seals over on Ethereum. That community is growing. They're getting funnier. You know, we're getting funny J hole, right? That J hole guy kind of spurred this whole long boy movement. So, we're seeing sappy seals here. We're seeing people from V Chain come on over. There is a growing thing happening, and that's fantastic. But if you were at Decipher, you would realize that that initial catalyst for me, which I think was a catalyst for a lot of you, is growing insanely. Algorand is literally delivering on the promise of blockchain, right? All these other hype chains or like a solana which is rapidly dying or you know all of them right i don't know i can't see any other ecosystem actually delivering on the promise when you go home for christmas you can talk about agro token which is tokenizing grain you can talk about travel x which is creating a secondary market for airline flights you can talk about um you can talk about disaster relief you can talk about so many really cool things and algorands at the forefront of it who else is doing stuff like that with a growing DeFi and NFT thing. So if you want to get excited, folks, get excited because you should be excited. The only thing that's not exciting is that your money's disappearing. <laughs> not financial advice. Anyways, so let's just kind of dive in on the, some of the announcements that we all heard about on at Decipher. There were some good ones, right? There was Algorand Ventures, which I actually don't know a ton about. I... um. I walked in towards the middle of that announcement uh, and look, as far as I can tell, what Algorand Ventures is, is a in-house VC fund that is going to invest in projects and help grow the Algorand ecosystem. It's going to partner up with, you know, things like Borderless and Arrington and Hivemind. They're going to partner up all together and they're going to invest in the builders and Algorand, they're going to take some equity where they'll be earning money on the foundation or it'll keep it going possibly once all of the algo are fully distributed by 2030 and the rate that we're going i mean how much longer uh will there even be an inflationary algo we're up to what eight billion and there's only two more billion to distribute so also saint vincent de paul disaster relief services is partnering up with Algorand, right i mean come on folks built by aid tech the Kakua wallet, app wallet, whatever, it was announced at uh, Decipher, and that's basically going to get people their disaster relief quicker, right? And I believe they're rolling it out for people that were um, affected in Nashville last year or something. In Tennessee, there was a huge storm, and they're rolling out this service where, you know, people can take pictures and they can, you know, there's a whole thing that you can look into, but Algorand is um, the backbone to this is the backbone to uh, the Kakua wallet and app, which will help people that are affected by natural and man-made disasters, and they're gonna get relief quicker and easier and more efficiently. Come on, folks. And then, um, oh, and then there was a, there's a big move into India. I mean, it's a little place that India, there's only, there's only a few people that live in India, but they're making a big move into India, right? MA Pay announced, like last minute, uh, I, I mean, I didn't, I actually heard about it in the line <laughs> at the airport uh, leaving Dubai because I believe the guy uh, from MA Pay was on the telephone announcing, uh, working out an announcement or a press release is the word I'm looking for. MA Pay is made, it has an agreement with India to put people's digital health registry on the blockchain, which they figured to amount to a hundred million new nfts being minted on the algorand blockchain hive mind hive mind announced a strategic partnership with fanatic an esports platform right i think they've got nearly two million followers on twitter this is huge i don't know a lot about esports but i know fanatic is big i think i talked to somebody i was like oh they made an announcement with fanatic while i was at decipher and they go what and i was like yeah uh hive mind is partnering up with fanatic and he goes whoa 
He's like, he knew about it. He was like, that's huge. I was like, yeah, okay, great. And then in my panel, Jeff Malko or Malky, which is it, Jeff? Um, but on my panel, he announced a NFT project with Little Dirk, the rapper Little Dirk. These are real world sneaker backed NFTs. There's a whole thing going on. There's more details to come on that. You can ask Jeff Malko Malky about that. V2 of folks was announced. There were some others. Um, what else? I don't know. It was pretty good though. It's a pretty good. And you know, I got to meet Silvio. Let's check out that picture. Pretty awesome. I got to meet Sean Ford. I got to meet John Woods in person. I mean, how cool is that guy? You know what I'm saying? I think John and Chris are coming on the show. I think they're coming on the show to battle it out. I don't know if it's going to be a battle. It's more like a probably a friendly talk, but I'm going to hype it like a battle. You know what I mean? Pretty good. Um, oh, yeah. So, I mean, to tie it up, look, Decipher was a success. It was fun. Um, and that's that, right? Moving on. Algorand. And then governance voting opened on some new on some new measures recently. And let's talk about that real quick. There's five measures. This is the most we've ever had to vote. They're putting us to work, folks. I think two of them are actually just kind of bonuses to other ones. But there's really three things we're voting on. There's three things we're voting on. The first vote is uh, you're going to vote whether you want to allocate 15 million algo or 10 million algo to DeFi incentives. So that's great. I'll be voting for more DeFi incentives because I like to participate in DeFi. And I like it when it's incentivized. And I want the Algorand DeFi to grow. You know what I mean? And then there is another proposal where you can allocate algo to the XGov program and it will fund the community grants program, right? So you're voting whether to add 2 million algo to a community grants program and that will be part of the xgov portal that we will be getting next year apparently and then the next vote is whether if that passes if the second measure passes then the next vote is whether you want that to be two million algo to fund the community grants program or one million algo to fund the community grants program right so you have to make that decision so if it passes then you vote further on how much you want there and then um, they're also trying to spur NFT growth, giving the NFT community a little bit of love, right? With 600,000 algo for a community, basically gallery or a community, um, you know, NFT portfolio, which will help support creators and hopefully help attract more creators and to, you know, build this out a little bit. And then the next vote is whether you want it to be 600,000 to the NFT program, if you want it to be 300,000 to the NFT program. So first the NFT initiative has to pass. And if it passes, then they'll account for who won out of 600,000 versus 300,000, right? I want to support the NFT community. I want to support DeFi. Um, and uh, yeah, I also want to support a community grants program. So I'm very positive on all of these things. Is it perfect folks? No, it's not perfect. Are they trying to make it better? I believe so. You know what I'm saying? We have a little drama on Twitter over the community hashtag. Some of us in the community have been grumbling. By some of us, I mean basically just me. Um, have been grumbling about the Algo Fam uh, community hashtag, which has a long story, um, has a long standing tradition and I have been beaten into submission and now I always tag Algo fan because that's how you get the eyes on on your posts sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I'm not as big of a Twitter uh, person as some other people, so I need to hashtag and uh, I know it's a little dated to hashtag, but if I don't hashtag, nobody really sees my posts, all right? <laughs> but um, I guess my point is, is that fam has always felt a little, you know, lame to me, sorry. Sorry, everybody. And, but the, is there a really, is there a good alternative to shake it up? I don't know, but there is a dust up. I've always been partial to Algonauts. Now Algonauts has been a bit, um, you know, dedicated to one particular group, uh, Discord group called the Algonauts, the Algonauts Discord. So I don't know if everybody loves the Algonauts Discord. I personally do. I mean, I'm, I think I'm technically an admin on the Algonauts Discord. So maybe I'm just shilling my own thing. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not, I like Algonauts or, 
you know, there's a whole bunch. People are saying algo rando, al, algo randos. <laughs> Don't want that. Um, algo friends. Uh, algo, 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 algo. I don't know. We're just going to stick with algo fam, aren't we, folks? I don't know. But that's all good. And uh, is there anything else that I cover it? FIFA, you know, I think there was some disappointment in FIFA and that partnership. I think that people felt like their expectations were raised and then they were um, smacked down. I mean, personally, the fact that they uh, scrapped the the sponsorship isn't a bad idea. You know what I mean? Like, doesn't feel like a bad idea. It feels like that would have been a hell of a lot of money for very little exposure. I mean, what is it going to be on a page on a website? It would have just been a regional sponsor anyways. So on that level, I would say that that was a win. Algorand Inc. teamed up with FIFA and built an NFT marketplace, right? They thought that the partnership would also extend to a sponsorship, but it didn't. Now, that means that Algorand Inc. and Algorand Foundation, well, certainly Algorand Foundation has spent nothing on FIFA. Algorand Inc. didn't have to spend that money on a sponsorship, and they teamed up with FIFA to build this marketplace, and they have shared interest in it. It's too bad that FIFA doesn't, promote FIFA Plus Collect more. I see FIFA Plus, but they never really promote the Collect portion. Why aren't they saying, hey, buy some NFTs? I don't know. I do know that NFTs and blockchain, certainly right now, isn't necessarily the most, the hottest thing on a lot of people's minds. You know, everyone, there's a lot, there's a stigma out there that it's a scam and it's all these things. I don't know if that has anything to do with why FIFA's not promoting it, but they should have. They definitely should have more. It would have been better. It would have been a better thing. But hopefully this is the beginning of a long partnership. The World Cup is coming to North America. You saw how the Team USA is preparing for that. They put the youngest squad, I think, in the entire World Cup out there. Sounds like they're trying to get some guys some experience before the big World Cup in 2026 will make it past the knockout rounds then, right? I mean, I real quick about soccer or football is, you know, watching – the USA and then watching a team like France. And I mean, like it's a different level of football. <laughs> like France looks freaking gorgeous out there. Brazil, these guys, they just play so relaxed and it's just so flows and it's beautiful. I think there's an, a word for this in um, Italian that they call, you know, it's just beautiful football and American, you know, a little more, a little grittier. The offense isn't as smooth and uh but we played some good defense and couldn't really hang with holland it's okay the netherlands we couldn't hang with the netherlands but it was a good showing folks it was a good showing i was disappointed to see japan lose on penalties earlier today and um i don't really know what's happened with brazil i'm assuming they're one um or maybe it's happening right now as i'm recording it doesn't matter enough about the world cup the world cup's coming to the u.s and canada and it's coming to the Americas, North America next, and hopefully Algorand and FIFA continue their partnership and it expands past a NFT marketplace. I don't know, but that NFT marketplace is a joint venture with Inc. and FIFA. So if that's successful, then you know, then maybe Inc. will also benefit from that. Well, Inc. will benefit from that. Um, what else can I say? What else should I say, folks? You know. One thing that was bullish about uh, Decipher is the uh, the schedule for the recoup. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you guys for, you know, we're getting towards the end of the year. And I just, man, it's been a rough year, isn't it? I mean, I'll do a recap of the year. <laughs> it's just going to be like me making pained faces. If, I, if I'm going to recap the year, it's just going to be like, oh, you know, whatever. Um, all right, folks. Hey, thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And yeah, that's it, everybody. I'll be back soon. I have some great interviews happening this week. I'll be talking to Anthony Scaramucci this week. And I believe Justin Bonds as well. I think we're confirmed on that. So look forward to delivering on that. And then there's more interviews coming. There'll be more videos. We're going, folks. Bear market or not, we're going to keep on chucking. Chugging? We're going to keep on trucking. Keep on trucking, folks. All right. Anyways, hey, 
If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching. Do your homework.